Last night, Central Oregon's favorite hotshot, Arthur Lewis Jr., bid farewell to his second home. His number one jersey was retired, and he played his last game in Bend. Those sentimental moments, though, important, overshadowed another milestone, bringing a team all the way from China to play the hotshots. The players look unfazed as they warm up for their game against Central Oregon, but this is likely a first trip to the States for some, and more than a month late. But the International Basketball League's team from China finally made it to Bend. They had some passport issues. It's pretty documented that in China over the last couple of months, passport and visa issues have been just terrible. Better late than never, the Shanji Zongyu brought a more traditional style of play back to the court, a far cry from the tricks the hot shots like to pull off, but it was still the same game. You know, basketball is basketball. It probably be more fundamental than marketing because, you know, they learn the basic and learn to play the right way from a young age. The plays they ran weren't the only difference between them and the teams we're used to seeing. The coaches aren't dressed up, and they don't head to the locker room for halftime. Instead of taking a break, the team stayed on the court and shot around. The league's always been national, but we've always played teams from Portland and Salem too much. So now last week we played Vegas, Michigan, and now China. So people from are starting to realize this is a pretty big league. The league includes 16 teams from seven different states, two more from outside the country, China, and a team from Canada. Lewis, for one, was glad for the opportunity. It be a great experience. Some add to, add to the resume, playing against a team from another country. And by the way, the Hot Shots did win by 31 points last night. Wow.